I love it when a company, um, the name says it all. And, and this is the, the case here. All Dry. That's the name of the company. Travis Chancy is with us from All Dry. So I can figure out what you do. Yeah. All Dry. I mean, that's pretty cool. Water restoration experts. And you make things all dry. And, and that's really, really important to begin with because mold is just more than just unsightly. That's true. Yeah. I mean, it can be a problem. It is very uh, dangerous to have mold in the house. It could cause issues to uh, children and older people and, and people with allergies and whatnot. Uh, it could cause them to feel like they're sick and they need to go to and the it, hospital. And, and it can cause sickness. So let's yeah. talk about uh, how you guys got, it got started in the all dry business. Yeah, we'd like to maybe talk about my dad a little bit and his yeah. dad. And uh, what, Was a, he in the business? Uh, yeah, he started the business, and then my uh, father actually started the business. And this is and the, uh, after, here are the vehicles. How many, you have these running all over town? Um, yes, we do. That's all dry. And then our founding company was Chansey and Sons, okay. uh, which started back in uh, West Virginia. Now, these are self-contained units when you go to a home. Yes, yeah, so we have equipment in it and uh, personal protective equipment and cleaning supplies. And, and we'll whatnot. go through some of that. Mm -hmm. so, so you have these vehicles. They show up. And you do it all when do it, it comes all. to water restoration. Start to finish, even construction and putting everything back together. Let's hear from your dad. He started the company. and uh, My grandfather did. Oh, your grandfather. Yeah. But we'll hear from your dad right yeah. now. We have Thanks, guys. Uh, this is how our, our company got started back in the early 1940s. My folks started the business. My, my dad uh, had the privilege of uh, taking some training in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, he uh, got acquainted with a German uh, descent gentleman that really took my dad in under his wings and taught him the trade, the secret trades of really uh, true carpet cleaning and the techniques of carpet repairs and so forth. As dad progressed in bringing uh, back to West Virginia, our company started there and as things progressed and life went on, brought the company to Denver, Colorado. My sons worked for us and uh, became our, our techs and so forth and as the years progressed, uh, Greg Saul, the Chansey and Sons, was a separate entity and formed his uh, own company uh, under uh, All Dry. Travis, uh, his brother, uh, saw that there was an opening there that could be for Denver Construction Group. That was formed, uh, Greg being president, and Travis being vice president of the company. And there we, <coughs> we all uh, shared the same offices, a corporate office, and formed Chansey Enterprises. Here you can see our, our old truck here. Our first original truck from our new our new version now. Dad always reminded me in the years of our training was doing to others you'd have them do unto you, and you never have to look over your shoulder. Hey Tom, I hope you enjoyed our story, and uh, it was a pleasure being here, and thank you for your time. You know, I did enjoy that. This this goes back a long way. It's a family tradition. Chancy Enterprises is it that that started all of this or that now owns all of these. You do carpet cleaning, we should mention, mm -hmm. and duct work. Duct work and, and power pr pressure washing. Power pressure washing mm -hmm. for outside of buildings and things? That's correct. Parking lots and mm -hmm. stuff? Parking lots. Okay. So, so let, let's talk about this. What we're looking at here is some flooding. Mm -hmm. This is also something that you're an expert at, coming in, getting rid of the water and the damage. Now, is this a job that you went on? Yes, uh, the first major concept and aspect of water damage is to remove the excess moisture and bring it back to the original dry state. Um, you know, removing the standing water would be the first concept. Of course. And, yeah. So. But then there's a lot to do after that. Yeah, I mean, we've got to check the materials that are wet, um, you know, check the grid and you know, with moisture meters. and. Now, let's red. talk about that right here mm -hmm. on set. You have some stuff with you because mm -hmm. this is pretty devastating. And after you get rid of the water, another company could say, hey, you're fine. But you know better because you go deeper. Go deeper. I Talk about it. Now, this looks like a taser to me. Yeah. It's a but, moisture meter. So, so this is a probe, mm -hmm. and so you can actually see moisture that's not apparent. Yeah, and it gives you a quantitative value of how wet it is. Uh, and, and then what would this uh, instrument be right here? Uh, we test the water to see what type of water it is, if it's clean, gray, or black water. Oh, that's good to know because mm -hmm. you have different mitigation for each one. Exactly. And, and then what about this thing here? Um, that would be an infrared uh, scanner. So we scan the walls to see uh, unforeseen damage that you can't see with the naked eye. Um, we're able to find moisture much quicker than most restoration companies. Yeah, here's that, so. a picture of that. Mm -hmm. So you're system. actually, this is infrared equipment that you can see, mm -hmm. uh, and, and you're taking a picture and seeing wetness? Um, yes, and it says temperature dif differential, so when it's wet, it's colder. 
And, oh, so yeah. you can see. And then what do you do when you do find that there's moisture lurking behind surfaces? Um, we've got to set up a drying system immediately. Um, we have two types of systems. Uh, we have a conventional drying system with dehumidifiers and air Look, rivers. Let's look at yeah. your drying equipment. We have some uh -huh. of that here. This is your equipment to find the moisture. And again, mm -hmm. uh, removing the water is just one thing, but at all dry, they go a lot deeper than that. Mm -hmm. And then you have drying equipment. So is that that big hose going in there? Yeah, it's a desiccant. That's a mobile desiccant uh, that you're seeing a picture of right there that, you know, we can dry out crawl spaces a lot faster that way. Um, you want to kind of focus on in-place drying or direct heat drying these days. It's more of a new technology. Let's hear from a customer. Okay. I think we have a customer we can hear from. Mm -hmm. We at REMAX professionals have complete confidence with all dry. They're quick, they're efficient, um, their cost is very reasonable. We pretty much refer them to everybody. I often recommend all dry for several reasons. First, and, and I've worked with them quite a bit. Uh, first, they show up quickly, and that's very important to prevent mold damage. Mold uh, incubates quickly and starts to grow uh, uh, fast. So getting somebody out there to start a drying process is very important. And so, and all dry is very, very good at that. The second thing is all dry is very professional. Their people are trained. Um, and they all have the knowledge necessary to get things cleaned up uh, the right way the first time. You know, I know there are companies that do everything when it comes to di disaster restoration. You guys specialize in water and moisture mm -hmm. and mold, and it's important because that's all you do. That's correct. Uh, we, we do also fire damage and smoke damage yes. and things like that, but uh, we started but as a water company. But is that your main focus, uh, being, uh, getting rid of water and moisture and mold? Yes. But you can do others. I can do fire and smoke. And, is, the others, is, the, so. uh, is the other damage easier than water? Is water the most challenging? Um, I wouldn't say that. I'd say everything's pretty challenging in restoration because you actually have to be trained and wow. take courses and is whatnot. This, so that's this, mold in a closet, actually from humidity being built up in the, in the, in the house. And they, wow. Yeah, it's a pretty crazy picture. It's pretty, yeah, can pretty you nasty. Get, <laughs> can you get rid of this stuff? Do you actually get rid yeah, of it no and problem. eradicate it? I eradicate it. It's gone. I'm, I'm in there setting up you know, a protocol with an industrial hygienist that would help me out. Um, so, and you, so. you test to make sure it's gone. I would have a third party do the testing for me. To That's take, excellent. So, that all me. dry. Now, remember, they do all kinds of disaster restoration. They emphasize water. They do carpet stuck cleaning, power pressure washing. Here's a special offer. Full mold or moisture inspection, just 99 bucks. Now, this is pretty cool. If you think you have any problems, they'll go in with the special equipment to find out. Just $99 for a full mold or moisture inspection. And that is a good deal. Then you can figure out how to mitigate it. And I, I'm sure, uh, Travis, you give them full uh, bids up front, full yeah, estimates up front. Yeah, I would email it to them, and it'd be right there in their face. They can look through it with pictures. All dry, 303-478-6127. All prices up front. You'll know exactly what you're facing when they come in and inspect for just 99 bucks. 303-478-6127. Online at alldry.com. And as I said, that says it all. All dry. Dot com. That's all dry. Dot com.